Hi to all our Kangas and Roos families today on this Tuesday. I hope you're all really well and having a good day. I wanted to tell you a story today. It's called Fox's Socks. It's by Julia Donaldson and I'm going to try and hold up the book so you can see the pictures really well. So it's called Fox's Socks and here we go. Poor old Fox has lost his socks. He looks in a chest and finds his vest. On it goes, but I've got cold toes. Under the stair is a shirt to wear. The shirt goes on, but my socks, they've gone. In a cupboard up high, he finds his bow tie. The tie looks neat, but I've got bare feet. Under the mat, he finds his hat. But where are my socks? Says poor old Fox. He looks in the clock and finds one sock. But Fox needs two. What can he do? Open the box. At last, two socks. Have you ever lost a sock? When you've been looking for a pair of socks, we have that all the time in our house. Socks go missing, I don't know where they go. But maybe you could find a, an odd sock today or just one of a pair and have a game of hunt the sock. So go and find it somewhere, uh, go and hide it somewhere around your house and your little ones can hunt for the sock. It might keep them occupied and happy for a little while. It might mean that you can have a cup of tea as well while you do that. Um, so you could have a game of that. You could also make a sock puppet today if you've got things in your home that you could do that with. Um, I actually found a sock which would make quite a good puppet like that, just a, a Christmas sock that was in my drawer. Actually that is an odd sock, I can't find the other one to it. Um, so <laughs> you could have some fun with sock puppets. You could make one as well if you've got an old sock, just cut out some eyes from material or paper and stick those on with some Pritt stick, that'll do a good job. And you could sing some songs and tell some stories with those sock puppets. So I hope you have some fun with that today. We're going to finish with um, our prayers that we normally do at Kangas and Roos and we sing those. So the first one goes like this. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you God that I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you for our friends. Amen. And then we say, when I'm driving in my car or walking down the street, Thank you, God, for being with me and bless the ones I meet. Our hands together we must do, and as we bow our heads to you, we close our eyes and softly say, Thank you, God, for a lovely day. Amen. So I hope you have some fun today and uh, all keeping really, really well, and we look forward to seeing you really soon. Next Tuesday, I'm going to tell you a story that Jesus told about something that got lost. And if you've got any cotton wool around your house, um, then maybe you could get that ready for next Tuesday because we're going to have an activity which involves cotton wool. You might be able to guess what the story's about. But I hope you have a really, really good day and see you very soon. Take care, everybody.